everyone, this is Tim from Your Six Studios. Today in this video, I'm going to be doing a quick review and unboxing video of this bar stool chair that I recently purchased online. Now, to give you a quick comparison of how high my countertop is compared to these chairs, I have my measuring tape right here, and my countertop is three feet high. And these chairs can go up and down which is very convenient and nice. So this is at the lowest point. Now let's bring it up to the highest point. And this is the highest point of the chair. My knees are actually hitting my countertop. So if I go back to the lowest point, you know, I get about six or seven inches between my countertop and my knees. Some of you may be concerned about the back length of this chair. It goes about to my middle of my back right here. So, I mean, you're not going to have a significant amount of support on your lower back. And you do have the option to swivel around if you enjoy going around in circles. And this chair kind of reminds me of going to like a barber shop. And it does have like a synthetic leather to it. And right now it seems like it's very soft. And it does seem like it has some padding on it, which is nice initial impressions of it is you know it's comfortable I could see myself sitting here eating some cereal in the morning watching some TV over there this is the previous stool that I was using as you can see there's no back to it and uh, it's just a wood stool so compared to this I mean these chairs are quite a bit nicer and I believe we bought these for around 74 75 bucks in that price range now in the package it will come with two of them and these are very easy to assemble It'll only take about 10 minutes. So I have another package that I'm going to be going ahead and unboxing. Let's go ahead and go through that now. And I'll provide you guys a closer look of the materials and how to assemble this and how quick it is. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut this open real quick. And open it up. And then right away you will see the backing. And everything's going to be covered in the, this uh, white cloth slash paper towel material. And here are the directions. Now these are very simplistic, easy directions to follow. You take the cap off of the hydraulic. You put the hydraulic into the base. You screw on the chair to the hydraulic lift thing. And then you put it together and boom, you get the chair and everything's happier when you get the chairs. You will have an allen wrench in the set and you will have the screws provided so you will need no extra materials or tools necessary to assemble this chair so let's go ahead and take the actual seating portion of the chair out and since we got two of them take this one out now that gives us a little bit better view of what's in the box so this is going to be your allen wrench and your screws and there's a plastic little cap that will go on the bottom of the chair. Put that to the side. And here are our two like hydraulic lifts that will propel the gas to make the chair go up and down. As you can see that will come right off. And this is what they look like. Put that over here. Since there's two in here. And it will be nice to have a little bit larger area just to uh, have everything set aside so you get a little bit more space and this is just going to come off you can either rip it otherwise it's a little bit easier just to thread it through the inside and out the other side i think this is what's going to take the longest getting all this wrap off all right so let's go ahead and get the lift and everything out of the box right now and here are the bases these will come out of the plastic really easy and this is all it looks like. It says it's made in China. I think I would have liked a little bit more with the welding around here actually. You can see it here and here and here. Maybe a consistent little weld around here would have been nicer instead of just little botches. And one thing I was looking at is there is some rubber on the side here so it's not going to scratch up your floor. As you can see right here. Uh, let's get the box out of the way. So here is our base. Let's go ahead and get one of these lifts out of the packaging. We will need to go ahead and open this up right now. 
And here are the two little plastic pieces and our eight screws and our, and our Allen wrench. So let's go ahead and get four screws out and put these to the side and get the Allen wrench over here. Now let's go ahead and take one of these covers, put it on the bottom here, put this in. And once you put this in, it's going to be very difficult to take off. Now let's take off this black cap on the top of the lift. And what I found was the easiest to put this together, the instructions are a little bit different. I actually just like putting this on right away. Then pressing this and lifting it all the way up. Because sometimes it just won't lift. There we go, it needs a little bit of weight on it. So I bring the lift all the way up and then I'll put my chair on. Alright, so on the bottom of the chairs, there's going to be four screw holes. I don't know if you can see them here, it's pretty dark. But there's going to be four different little holes on here. There you go, you can see it right there. You can see the holes. So just align the holes with the top here. You got to think of where the front is. Like, uh, So you got the top here, and then you got the footrest right here. Go ahead and put the seating position towards the footrest, if that makes any sense. Otherwise, when you put your chair on and you put your feet down, your footrest won't be where your feet are. And the lift should be off to your right if you're doing this correctly. So you kind of line it with the holes here. Then take your screws and put them in. And you can screw these in by hand. I like doing it this way just because I can rotate it a little bit easier. Because I already got it up on the lift. I can just spin it to the next hole. Put the next screw in. Now everything should be aligned. There it is. So get in everything by hand first, then come through with the Allen wrench and just tighten everything up. Okay, so I went ahead and just screwed everything by hand. Let's go through with the Allen wrench now and just tighten everything up. All right, so that's tight. Let's go to the next one. And that's why I like just spinning it like this. It makes it so easy. Just go ahead and spin it and tighten up the next screw. All right, so everything's nice and tight. And I don't see any gaps here. Okay, so that's how easy it is to assemble this chair. It only took about 10 minutes just for one. So you're looking at about 15 to 20 minutes for the both of them. And I think one of the highlights of this chair that made me want to purchase was the ability to have it go up and down like you saw and to have the ability to rotate it around and the fact that it had a backrest. Now I do wish the backrest was a little bit higher but I think this is good where it is, just because you will be sitting up a little bit higher. If you are interested in purchasing this chair, go ahead and check my description down below for more details of how to buy this and where to get it. And if this video did indeed help you out, go ahead and leave this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for more tech help videos coming up next on your six studios.